Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new upcoming module that will be a part of Samsung Goodlock. Now, if you already live in South Korea, you do already have access to Dropship. Now, Dropship is not available in any other country for at least from what I have noticed from all of the uh, research I've done. It looks like it's only in South Korea. It said that it should have been in the United States, but I've never seen it, never heard of it. I've never downloaded it yet. This one is just an APK and I'm not able to have it work because it says only accounts issued in Korea are available. Um, but in today's video, what I'm going to show you is exactly what this is able to do. I'm going to show you some of the screenshots of what it looks like. I can also show you this little video here. I'll be linking this one below the video inside the description from AppX. He literally shows you what it looks like on the phone running. Uh, and he might even have a more detailed one after that. Um, but what you'll notice is that this is very, very, very similar or the exact same as the share option that is called link sharing. Because with link sharing, not only can you do a link that goes across all platforms, Android, iOS, the web, everything else, but you also have a QR code that people can grab it right then and there. So if you're at a concert or you're doing some event, you take better photos than the friend next to you. Maybe they have their iPhone. All you'd have to do is hit on sharing of any of the images that you would like to send over. And then it's going to show it as a QR code that they can download right there in the spot. Now, if you need to send all of those images or videos up to five gigs to somebody else across the, the country, you can do it as a link. So you'll notice that dropship and link sharing is pretty much the exact same thing. My guess of the reason why they maybe made this is so then they can do more features, probably easier, more updates through an application that is supposed to be found on the Galaxy Store, which will also show up inside of your, your good lock you know, application module holder, but basically maybe they could just have more functionalities and settings that they can add in. So pretty much these are the main three things. You're able to easily transmit anything that you have, if it's text, if it's images, you know, to anybody on Android, iOS, and the web, you create your own shared link and also set various options such as how long and how many shares you would like to share it. So maybe you just want to share it with five people, maybe the first five people, and you only want to have it for the first day, two day, three day, whatever the case, you can set all of that up. Now let's first over here, take a look at some of the screenshots of what it's supposed to look like. We'll take a look at a couple articles really fast, letting us know what is coming up here in the month of June, which is why I wanted to shoot this video. So then this way you guys are ready for this application, whenever it does come out, hopefully here in the United States. Um, and then also too, I'm going to show you a link sharing to show you that you can do all of this right now. <laughs> so anyways, this is dropship. This is the first image. You're you know, possibly trying to find who you want to send it to. This is what you're selecting of what you want to send images, videos, files. Uh, you just go through the files of your device. And then when you have everything selected, you are able to have this QR code that they can, again, if they're standing right there, able to just scan it with their camera and then have everything downloaded. Here's your little link that you can copy the link. Uh, I think this is looking at all of the images you did. Here's where you can download it. Then here's the other sharing options. And again, you're going to see this quick share icon when it comes down to link sharing as well. And then over here, I don't know exactly what this is. It kind of looks like you're creating your own link over here, but I believe you know, one of these options is maybe for how long, or maybe you're setting a code for them to type in in order for them to actually access it. But then you can also put in, you know, how many times it's able to be shared and also for how long they're able to actually view the content of what you are sharing. So now that we kind of took a look at some of what it's supposed to look like, uh, and then also too, I'm sharing with you this little video over here, if you'd like to maybe see it actually running on a device, um, so now we're going to go over into these two little articles and then I'm going to show you what link sharing exactly is. So you can see that it's pretty much the exact same thing. So with my little research, I found this little article talking about how it was released on November 4th. So it's been out for about six months now. So if you live in South Korea, you probably already had it. United States, it said it was supposed to be here, but it, at least I've never seen it. It's introduced as an app for the One UI 5 Good Lock plugin, namely Dropship. The new Samsung Dropship app allows users to easily share files across devices running any platform, including Android, iOS, and web, which currently you can technically do now. Uh, and then it says it's available for download, but it is only in South Korea. Initially released the Dropship app for Galaxy customers in South Korea, while global users will also be able to download it officially via the Galaxy Store, which I haven't seen yet. I did search it for the Galaxy Store, was able to find it, I had to do an APK. It's worth mentioning that the Dropship app debuted as a part of One UI 5 Good Lock, hence you will be needing the latest software version. So this is where they're talking about the key features, which we have already covered. 
And this is just talking about some of the new features on the latest update, because there's only been one update to this application so far. So with this one, it gives you the ability of text to file sharing functions. So when copying and sharing text, select the drop ship to share, and it will be delivered as a text file and can be copied to the clipboard when received. Now I'm gonna show you here in a minute, you can still do that with link sharing, copy and paste function for the web. Uh, so basically this kind of makes it easy so you can copy and paste image or text and paste it in a dropship web page. It will be delivered as an image or text file. The text file can be directly opened um, to the clipboard and be used. View coordinates, again, in the receive and send list. So I don't know exactly what they mean by this. I don't know if they mean by like literal coordinates of where you are, latitude, longitude, but the coordinate sharing page which was only available in the send function is now available in the send and receive. Uh, then the galaxy or the galaxy to share linked function, you can create and share coordinates through dropship in the newly released galaxy to share app coordinates with shared with GTS are valid for three days. Um, now, if we move over into this other article that I've saved, this is the one that kind of made me want to make sure I shot it as soon as possible because it's talking about this new update coming next month, which is going to be in June. So it says that, you know, the module that is present uh, in Goodlock suits uh, or suite, as per the information, the application is only available for Galaxy users who are residing in Korea and the United States. Currently, I don't see United States. Um, now, if we're to scroll on down, uh, it looks like one of the app updates is going to gain the ability to send, a, a send uploaded coordinates to your devices or device as a notification message. It makes it more comfortable to exchange data between devices. In addition, also bring a clocking feature that hides other coordinates and shows the dropship coordinates that can be seen. So again, I don't know fully exactly what all of that means. So we already took a look at these two articles here. I can place them below the video in the description if you'd like to read more. We took a look at the screenshots. I, I have an option of a video that you can watch below. Now let me show you what link sharing does and how easy it is to use. So first off, let's try the one with like text. So if I was to, you know, press and hold on this right here, um, all I'd have to do, let's say that I just want to have this little option here. I hit on this little share button. Now here's quick share. Now inside of quick share, you have all these options. So you can share link using an app, which that was the icon you saw from before. Here's the copy link, which we've seen from before as well. And then here is share using a QR code. So the first one, I'm just going to do copy link. Now, this one's very easy. It's already copied to the clipboard. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to head inside of a text message. So I'm going to send this to myself. So then this way we'd be able to see exactly what it's doing. So let's say that we go inside of here. This is what I just sent over. So this is the recipient. Doesn't matter what phone they have. Doesn't matter if this was sent, you know, to an iPhone an Android or a computer. Basically, I can tap on this. I can get this thing all downloaded. Uh, and then once it gets on downloaded, I can open this up. And then here's the text on the very top. So I don't know if Dropship does a better job, but again, here it is. I can go right through it. And now I have it on this device that I can do that copy and paste, share, do whatever I want to. Uh, so I have everything here that Dropship was talking about. So now let's say that we do it as, you know, another option here. So let's say that we go over here. We take a look at just a couple little images. I press and hold, and maybe I want to share these pictures right there. So I hit on this little share button, and then here I'm going to go inside a quick share one more time, and now I'm going to share it using QR code. So this is where it makes it very simple if you're at a concert with your friends and maybe you took some better photos or whatever the case. So I'm just going to push this on up so this way you guys would be able to see, you know, what is happening um, with the other device. So basically, if I was to take, you know, my pixel, whatever it may be, you're going to see a little link little pop up right there. You're going to click on that little link and here are those images. So I can download all six of them right now, you know, right off the bat, or I can take a look at them individually, find the ones that I want to have from this event. I hit on this little download button and now it's on my phone. So it's very, very simple. It works anywhere. I mean, this is just a QR code that any phone is able to, you know, basically just scan with the camera app and then you're able to get it all downloaded. And then you have the link sharing option that you're able to just copy this. So again, I just created it. I can copy this link now, and then now I can send this as a link to somebody in a completely other state or country, and then now they're able to get this one downloaded because I just sent them the link of all of those images, and they're at the full high quality. So you saw it was over five megabytes, and those were basically six screenshots. So those are the exact same size. Now, if you ever want to see where all of these little links are that you have created, everything that you are basically sharing with other people, just hit on your little settings button, 
go right here to connected devices because that's where quick share is located. Then you tap on quick share. And then this right here is where you have your little link sharing history. You tap on this link sharing history and now you can see everything that you have created so far. These are all available until June 1st. So with this one right here, I can hit on stop sharing. I can show the QR code again. I can share it in another app or I can copy the link again. If I wanna stop sharing it, I hit on stop sharing and it gives me the ability to also get it deleted. Again, up here, same thing, copy link, share it in another app, show the QR code and here's stop sharing. So now if everybody has what they need to have, it's already grayed out now. So what I can do here is I can press and hold on all of them and I can get them all delete, deleted and now they're out of my entire link sharing history. So it's just a way that you're able to send files to anybody right next to you via QR code or even the link, or you can send it to somebody else that is not even near you. Doesn't matter what platform they're on with a link, they're able to receive it and, and either view it or download it as well. So again, I don't really know exactly what all the big differences of Dropship is. I saw that, again, you're able to do coordinates, but I don't really know exactly what completely for. You also have text, maybe there's a little bit better, but because this one is just a full-on application, a part of the Galaxy Store inside of the GoodLock module, maybe they have more ability of adding more features, more recent updates or more updates continuously more often than the, the the quick share option inside of your phone but again i don't see how they can't do updates there either so for me this is just a re repeated application which samsung is very good at but maybe it's a way to make it not so hidden just something that is an application you can get in the galaxy store rather than just a little uh quick share icon option maybe it's so you know, hidden from people that they didn't know about it and they want to make something that's easier, simple tap of an app and there it is. And again, maybe the ability to do more features and updates, but hopefully you guys appreciated this video. Hopefully this helped out, take a look out, you know, keep an eye out on the Galaxy Store for dropship coming hopefully in June here for the United States. If you're already in South Korea, you already got it. Uh, maybe other countries will be a part of this as well too, but I am waiting for this update next month so that I'd be able to share it with you guys as well. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.